the Zach Wilson scouting report. This is a guy you might be able to trade up for. A lot of people, a lot of Niner fans want you to get this guy. He could go number two. You might be able to get him. Chris Sims thinks he's the best in the draft. Chris Sims watched all of his 2020 tape. Chris Sims clearly didn't watch 2019 or 2018. He says he can do everything. He can make, he can, he can make the snap throws. He can throw deep. I mean, he can, he, he's 6'3". He's a lot. He can make more throws, more off-platform throws than Trevor Lawrence. Maybe his arm's just as strong. Maybe not. But the thing about it, Kyle, like you coached RG3. You should know about the, the one-year wonder in college. RG3 at Baylor was no big deal, and he had an injury. He had surgery. He didn't have an ACL injury at Baylor. He had one great year, won the Heisman. Your team took him number two. You had to coach that guy, and he was a disaster. He got hurt, ran around a lot, didn't really, wasn't really ready to play. And uh, look at him now. Do you want that guy? To me, there's a lot of similarities there. I mean, how can a guy, Zach Wilson, who's so talented and does so many great things and gets compared to Aaron Rodgers and Patrick Mahomes, play so poorly as a sophomore. That was 2019. He had 11 touchdown passes and nine interceptions. In 2019, he was almost a one-to-one touch intercept, touchdown to interception ratio in college at BYU. Who was he playing that he couldn't throw touchdown passes at BYU? What is that? Explain that one to me, Kyle. I mean, it's not, it's not going to be your, your problem here, but that's a really bad or not good sophomore year for and then he has his awakening and learns how to play the position gets a lot stronger works out with tom house whatever and mr miyagi just has he does like one of those montages where he like learns to play the position and discipline at the same time and he's on the beach and he, you know it takes him about 30 45 seconds to learn how to play quarterback boom 2020 hits and he's really good all of a sudden yeah maybe that maybe it was the montage maybe it was the mr miyagi wax on wax off or maybe it was the pandemic the schedule was cupcake. He didn't have to play all those Pac-12 teams he normally has to play, and he looked really good. I don't know, Kyle. Do you really want to? Would you really trade up for a guy who's had one good year in college? He wasn't even good in 2019. He wasn't even good in 2019. If you just look at the 2020 tape, you're like, man, this guy is Aaron Rodgers, Patrick Mahomes. He's everything, but he's playing seven on seven football. His offensive line is terrific. He has a ton of space. He gets like an eight-step running start into his throws. He still doesn't make any throws in the red zone. All of his touchdown passes, all of his big plays come from way out, which is one of the reasons he didn't have any touchdown passes as a sophomore, didn't have many as a rookie. They don't let him throw in the red zone. They let him throw when there's 70 feet of field in front of him, and he makes big plays off schedule and stuff because he's at BYU playing teams like, I don't even know their names. And he actually has good players on his team. So um, I like Zach Wilson. I see why Chris Sims ranks him physically ahead of Trevor Lawrence. But Trevor Lawrence has been good for three years. At least you know what he's going to be, flaws and all. Zach Wilson could be total fool's gold. Just a guy. Just a guy who had a great year at BYU. How many mediocre athletes could have a great year at BYU? A lot. Imagine if Johnny Manziel went to BYU. He wouldn't have had a great year. What does that prove? You made a, a lot of cool throws off schedule at BYU. It's seven on seven football. So yeah, Zach Wilson, let that be someone else's problem. I'm not sold on him at all. He could be a flat out bust. We haven't even talked about his personality. People, people rag on Josh Rosen for being well off and rich. Dude, Zach Wilson makes Josh Rosen look poor. Zach Wilson has an uncle who is like the CEO of JetBlue. That guy probably owns Utah. So uh, I, I don't think you want to go into business with Mr. Wilson, but that's going to be Robert Sala's uh, treat. That'll be his little, little gift.